Hello everybody and welcome to a new lesson of Learn Old Egyptian. Today we're going to do something interesting. We're going to learn how to type uh, hieroglyphics on your computer using an open source tool called the Project uh, Rosetta Stone. It's a French website, but it is very easy for English speakers to use this tool. And I'm going to show you how. So um, there are two possibilities when you come to using uh, the, the Rosetta Stone project uh, website. Either uh, you type transliteration, so basically you write uh, l the sounds. Let's say, for example, I want to write the sound B. So there you go. Or I want to write the biliteral men. The other option is to write uh, using Gardener's uh, sign list. And Gardener's sign list is a classification of all hieroglyphs um, according to their shape. So uh, the Gardener signs that start with the letter A are man hieroglyphs. Then B is for women. C is for deities. I will leave in the description a list of all gardener signs for you if you want to use it. So let's see first the transliteration method. The exercise I want to uh, propose is to write Amenhotep's or Yemenhotep name in hieroglyphics the way it is. So let's try to write uh, Amenhotep's uh, name in, in this website. So the first option is to write biliterals and uh, uniliterals and triliterals with separation. So we want to write E, men, then N, Hotep, triliteral, T, and P. So that's exactly what we want to write. So let's see now what we have. So what we have is not exactly what we're looking for. We have the hieroglyphics, but on one line. And what we're looking for is to do the quadrats. So basically having the men and the n and on the same line, and then hotep uh, with the t and the p underneath. So let's see how we can achieve that. So one way of doing this is to put Two points between the letters. And as you see, we don't really have what we're looking for yet because in Hotep, we want the T and the P to be next to one another. And to do that, we need to add one more trick. We need a star in between. And there you go. So now we have E, men, hotep. That is uh, the way you can use the project uh, Rosetta uh, to type hieroglyphics. Another way of doing that is doing um, is using gardener's signs. And so you get the same result. As you can see, let's say t take randomly the letter P. The unilateral P is called Q3. And so that's how we code it there. So um, either way, you can use transliteration or gardener signs to type hieroglyphics here. Uh, let me just give you a little, give you a little uh, trick when it comes to transliteration. So uh, most of the signs are pretty intuitive, really. The only thing that you need to remember for transliteration is the H. Uh, so the first H, you write it this way, a normal H. Then you do a capital H for ha for the second H. You see, that's the ha. It's called V28 here. So it's a second H. The third H is written X. Ch, you pronounce it Ch. 
says you see. This is the third H. It's called AA1. Then the last one, which is the R sound, is a capital X. As you can see, this is the R sound. It's called F32. So that's basically it when it comes to transliteration. The A sound, if you want to write A, you write it as an A. Then the A sound, the vulture, you write it as capital A. So I leave the links in the description for you to try and um, play with it and uh, try to do it by yourself. Um, it's pretty intuitive and it's pretty easy to use. And now uh, you can basically type lines of hieroglyphics on your computer uh, for free. Enjoy.